meeting of the Building and Contracts Committee for Thursday, October 31st, 2024. In accordance with board policy 8311, the chair of a committee at their discretion and after consultation with the staff liaison may convene an in-person committee meeting. Otherwise, all committee meetings will be held electronically. Today's meeting is being held virtually and broadcast through Microsoft Teams. In order to conduct this meeting efficiently, all voting items this afternoon will be done by a roll call vote. Board committee members will say their names before making and seconding a motion, as well as when requesting discussion on an agenda item. Additionally, as a courtesy to the committee, I ask that you inform Ms. Faya or myself if you must leave the call by using the Teams chat feature so that a quorum can be maintained. Ms. Faya, please call the roll to determine the presence of a quorum of the committee. Thank you, Mr. Young. Ms. Lichter? Present. Ms. Lewski? Mr. McMillian? Here. Mr. Young? Present. Mr. Young, there are four, or three, sorry. Thank you. Ms. Faya, please call the role of staff members participating in today's meeting. Thank you. Ms. Dina, Dr. Dina Donato? Present. Dr. Grimm? Present. Mr. Hartlove? Present. Mr. McCall? Present. Ms. Rayfield? Present. Mr. Corns? Mr. Hodge? Present. Ms. Anajala? Present. Ms. Forster? Present. Ms. Lazari? Present. Mr. Roberts? Present. Ms. Sansbury? Present. Mr. Bergeson? Present. Ms. Geisinger? Present. Mr. Salerno? Present. Ms. Webster? Ms. Amanda Laza? Present. If there are additional staff participating that were not mentioned, please state your name. Thank you, Mr. Young. Thank you, Ms. Vea. Mr. Hartlove, please state your name for the record and proceed with contract number one. Sure, uh, Chris Hartlove, Chief Financial Officer. Contract one is CWA-115-21 Tutoring Services. Uh, this is a consent to assignment of this contract from Maryland Teachers Tutors to your teacher tutors. Are there any questions from committee members? Mr. Young, it's Ms. Lichter. I have a question. Please proceed, Ms. Lichter. Um, so in this overlaps, I think a couple of the contracts are all using your teacher tutors. Um, who uses the tutors or are the individual schools? Uh, how are the tutors used? I don't know if there's anyone. It's uh, for special education. It's for the, the Department of Special Education. So I don't know if anyone from special education is here to talk about uh, how they're used. Hi, Mr. Hartlove. It's, it's Dr. DiDonato. Um, so with this one, this is used um, for comp ed services, Ms. Lichter. Okay. So if you saw on this one, um, just the very limited spending the past year right. was really related to um, it was put in place um, for COVID recovery okay. uh, combat services. Mm -hmm. OK, thank you. You're welcome. Are there any additional questions? Hearing none, we will proceed to the next contract. DEI-600-25 Digital Media Instructional Resources. Uh, this is a new contract that runs through November 30th, 2027. Uh, this contract will provide web-based, um, a web-based repository of educational videos and resources to students in grades pre-K through eight for the Division of Curriculum and Instruction. The maximum contract spending authority is $1,814,722. And um, this uh, contract was approved at the uh, Curriculum Committee on October 21st, 2021. Are there any questions from committee members?
Mr. Harlow, if you could proceed with contract three. Yes, GDA-326-22 Academic Enrichment Programs out of school uh, time services. This is uh, similar to the first contract, uh, the assignment from Maryland teacher tutors to your teacher tutors. Are there any questions? Ms. Lichter, I have another question. Please well, it's proceed. actually the same question. Could we just get a brief um, explanation of how these are used? Is this for after school? Is it title? I know it's for community schools, I think. Hi, it's Melissa Forrester. Um, Ms. Lichter, you're correct. This is used by both actually community schools and Title I to provide that academic tutoring after school, before or after school. And is that because we were unable to really get enough teachers who want to do the after school work? Yeah, it, it's both. It's both for the vendor, yes. It's because we can't always pay our teachers, so it's another opportunity for vendors. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Are there any additional questions? Mr. Harlove, if you could proceed with contract four. Sure. Uh, this is uh, CWA-104-23 Arts and World Cultures Out of School Time Programs. And this is, again, the same um, assignment, Maryland teacher tutors to your teacher tutors. Are there any questions? It's Ms. Lichter, same, same question. Mm -hmm. So I don't, what is the definition of out of school? out of school time programs. Is that field trips or is that something else? I miss like there's Ms. Forrester again. I'll speak to Hi. that. <laughs> Hi. Um, out of school time programs is a term used in community schools that just means outside of the regular school day. So it would not be field trips in this situation. It's out of school time. So for, we have two contracts here, the arts and world culture and the tutoring. It's just, they have different purposes. One is providing more like the arts and world culture, like culinary arts, that sort of thing, where the other one's focused on academic enrichment. Okay, and then are usually this community schools are using their community school funds? Yes. Um, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Are there any additional questions? Ms. Um, Mr. Hartlov, if you could proceed with our next contract. Sure. NTA-508-24 Foreign Language Interpretation and Translation Services. This is a contract extension through uh, December 31st, 2025. Uh, this contract modification will provide for the continued foreign language interpretation and translation services. Uh, the contract will provide telephonic and on-site interpretation and written document translation services. Are there any questions? Mr. Hartlove, if you could proceed with our next contract. Sure. JNI-791-14 Applicant Tracking and Onboarding. This is another extension. Um, through, this is a five-year extension. This contract modification will provide for the continued use of the applicant tracking system, ATS, and onboarding for the Office of Staffing and Certification. Approval is requested to extend the contract for five years. Um, so that's it. Are there any questions? Okay, um, Dr. Grimm, if you could proceed with our next contract, contract number seven. Yes, good afternoon, Mr. Young, members of the board. Uh, contract number seven in our list today, NTA 502-25, Maintenance and Repair of Warehouse Equipment. This new contract will provide for the maintenance and repair of warehouse equipment to include, but not limited to, electric and gas-powered lifts and jacks, hydraulic and automated overhead doors, and dock levers, in addition to the procurement of new equipment. Are there any questions? Dr. Grimm, if you could proceed with our next contract. Our next item is number 8, JME 507-21, Operation of Her Hereford High School Water 
excuse me, wastewater treatment facility. This contract modification requests an extension to provide for continued operation of the wastewater treatment facility at the Hereford High School. Approval is requested to extend the contract for one year with one awarded vendor approved by the board on Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. This contract modification will exercise the fourth of five-year option year extensions. Are there any questions? Dr. Grimm, if you could proceed with contract number nine. Our next contract, NTA 506-25, grounds maintenance equipment. This new contract will provide for the purchase of grounds maintenance equipment for the Office of Facility Support Services grounds maintenance, including but not limited to the procurement of mowers, tractors, loaders, ball diamond machines, brush hogs, spraying equipment, skid steers, trailers, snow equipment, and other power equipment. Are there any questions? Dr. Grimm, if you could proceed with contract 10. Our next contract, GDA 307-25, Inspection, Maintenance, Repair, and Installation of Stage Curtain Systems. This new contract will provide for the inspection and maintenance of stage curtain systems, including services for preventative maintenance, inspection, installation, repair, and cleaning of stage curtains for all schools and offices. Are there any questions? Dr. Grimm, if you could proceed with contract number 11. Contract 11 is CWA-127-24, Oliver Beach Elementary School Mechanical Systemic and Open Space Improvement Project. This is a construction contract for which competitive bids were solicited for all labor materials and associated work required for the full replacement of mechanical systems except boilers, heating, water pumps, and domestic water heaters that were replaced and uh, at the enclosed the and to enclose the open space areas at Oliver Beach Elementary School. So it handles all mechanical except for those listed, and it will enclose the open space at Oliver Beach. Are there any questions? If you could proceed with our next contract, please, Dr. Grimm. Our next item is number 12, DEI 616-24, Jacksonville Elementary School Mechanical Systemic Project. This is a construction contract for which competitive bids were solicited for all labor materials and associated work for full replacement of mechanical systems, with the exception of the facility's boilers, heating water pumps, and domestic water heaters. Are there any questions from the committee? If you could proceed with our next contract, please, Dr. Grimm. Our contract number 13 on the list, GDA-301-25, Perry Hall High School Intercom System Upgrade. This is a construction contract for which competitive bids were solicited for all labor materials and associated work to replace the intercom system at Perry Hall High School. Are there any questions from the committee? Please proceed with our next contract, Dr. Grimm. Our next is number 14, NGO-417-24, White Oak School Mechanical Systemic Project. This is a construction contract for which competitive bids were solicited for all labor materials and associated work required for the complete renovation of the mechanical system, the replacement of the building's main electrical switchgear, and the enclosing of the media center at White Oak School. Are there any questions? If you could proceed with our next contract, Dr. Graham. Our next item is number 15. It is an information item. It's uh, labeled MWE-802-25, Sparrows Point Secondary Schools Project Update. This information item was presented to the Building and Contracts Committee on October 7th, 2024, 
and to the full board on October 8th, 2024. The board voted to postpone a decision on this item so that they could receive and review the feasibility study associated with this information item. The feasibility study for this project was provided to the board and staff are seeking board approval to move forward with the planning and design of Sparrows Point High School and Sparrows Point Middle School as replacement schools, neither as renovation addition projects. Are there any questions? Mr. Young, I have a question. Please proceed, Mr. McMillian. Dr. Grimm, how much did this feasibility study cost us? Uh, Ms. Lazari, do you have those figures available this evening? I do not, but I can get them to you in the morning. Thank you. We can provide that information to you and the board on Monday, Mr. McMillian. Thank you. Are there any additional questions? Thank you, Dr. Grimm. I will now entertain a motion to recommend that items 1 through 15 be moved to the full board for approval. So move, Lichter. Is there a second? I'll second it, McMillian. The question is on the recommended approval for of contracts 1 through 15 for board action. Those in favor, please say yes. Those opposed, please say no. Ms. Faya, please call the roll. Thank you, Mr. Young. Ms. Lecter? Yes. Mr. McMillian? Yes. Mr. Young? Yes. Thank you. There being three in the affirmative, the motion passes. Contracts 1 through 15 will be forwarded to the board. The last item on the agenda is announcements. The next Building and Contracts Committee meeting will be held on Monday, December 2nd, 2024. Is there any further business? Hearing none, the meeting is now adjourned. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.